And the general overseer of the redeemed Christian Church of God, Enoch Adeboye, on Sunday led members of his church in a prayer walk against insecurity in Nigeria. Pastor Adeboye had directed the congregation to participate in prayer walk declared by the Christian Association of Nigeria, CAN, to address the spate of killings across the country. According to an assistant general overseer of the church, Fonsho Odeshola, about 25,000 parishes of the church are expected to carry out the same exercise nationwide. CAN President Samson Ayokunle earlier announced a series of activities aimed at asking for divine intervention in stopping the killing of innocent Nigerians and giving the government the capacity to overcome terror in the country. Earlier on, Plus TV Africa spoke with Pastor Itwa Igado on the matter. Well, the immediate trigger was the killing of the pastor in, uh, in, in the middle belt recently, the head of CAN there. Right. That was the immediate trigger. But it had been brewing for quite a while, where it seems as if a lot of the killings, especially in the middle belt and up north, have been lopsided mm -hmm. towards the Christians. Okay. Even today, a young Christian reverend father was also killed. Okay, some other person's wife was abducted. So the president of the Christian Association of Nigeria called a three-day fast and prayer and said it should be ended on Sunday with a protest march throughout the streets of wherever you are. Right. So we, we, we followed that um, instruction. instruction. Uh, we did our fast. We're fasting anyway. Right. Yes. Uh, we did our prayers. And then we then also led a protest march down Ligalia Henry Day, mm. through Victoria Island, down City of David Road, back. And then we did some prayers mm -hmm. as we went along and pronounced some blessings over Nigeria. And um, also invoked the spirit of the Almighty to come and bring peace in this country. We don't want this country divided Very on true. the basis of religion. religion. Yeah. Uh, we don't want the, this company uh, exposed and compromised. Mm -hmm. by lack of security. You know, one of the biggest failings of this government right now is their seeming Absolutely. inability to deal with the security, security issues in our country. And it is getting almost worse on a daily basis. In the time of uh, President Jonathan, we had challenges, we were a bit worried, uh, we were a bit concerned. Yeah. But now it seems as if we're almost helpless. Mm -hmm. You know, I was born in Ibadan, I grew up in Ibadan. Yeah. Even as a young child, I would leave Lagos at 9 p.m., go yes. to Ibadan. I went Very to King's right. College yeah. initially. And then I will just leave and go travel anywhere. Yeah. My cousin traveled from our village in Isha to, Lake, to Ibadan. And he came by himself, was eight years yeah. old. Okay. I said, how did you Can't come? Do that now. He says, anybody who has a mouth doesn't <laughs> get lost. <laughs> I can never forget that. Yeah. But last year, for the first time, I agonized. Going to Ibadan. Ibadan. Hmm. Wow. Because well, some people have been kidnapped in Ijebu. Oh, just along people the road. The Even camp. on the Ibadan Express, you, yes. You, on the expressway. Yeah. It never used to happen. Absolutely. You might find the odd arm robber trying to shoot at your car, blah, blah, mm -hmm. blah, mm -hmm. which has happened to me. Yeah. But wow. that you are kidnapped. Children coming from University of Ife were yeah. kidnapped. Oh, a friend's wife went to visit in Benin. Between the airport road, she was kidnapped and held hostage for two weeks. Uh, I mean, it's unbelievable. And we seem helpless. No arrest, no warrant of arrest, yeah. nobody charged. Some people even say we are the ones responsible. They say it, yeah. and nobody Nothing does anything. Nothing happens to them. How can a man it's come out and say, questions. I did this? Begs and you know him, questions. you know his house, you know you everything. And you keep quiet. Him. And you don't round him up and put him in detention and ask him more questions and say, are you okay or are you not okay? So, How come you came out publicly to say that you did something? And everybody keeps quiet. The plan, the you know, one of the problems of Nigeria in the past is that a lot of people who should be united yeah. have not been united. The church has not been united. True. A lot of our pastors and leaders are building empires, small, small empires mm. in little caves, thinking that it will be well with them. No. It cannot be well with everybody yeah, where you have no country, where you have no security, okay. where people cannot go about their businesses on a daily basis. So the first thing is that the church must unite against a common front. Exactly. What do we want in Nigeria? We want peace, we want security, yes. we want good leadership. Absolutely. It doesn't care. It doesn't matter where you come from, you come from, but you must be capable. You must be competent. You must be exposed. You must be passionate about Nigeria. Okay. And sometimes it may require that you die for this country. Mm -hmm. You know, every good move 
somebody dies. Yes. Christ mm. died for Christianity. Okay? Mandela died for South Africa. Yeah. A lot of people have died Martin for Luther the sake. King Martin Luther King died, died for America yes. and the black people. And race. the black people. We must be, you know, any leader who is not exposed, who is not well read, who is not passionate about Nigeria, mm. who is not detribalized, who is not ready to do what it needs to run this country, shouldn't even try it. We are not going to agree anymore in this country that just anybody will just wake up and say, I want to be president. From where to where? You must prove that you have the skill, the competence, the passion, the exposure, the energy, and the knowledge to govern 200 million of some of Different. the most brilliant yeah. people in the world. In the world. And then we are begging the issues about leadership, and we're all sitting down, we're folding our hands. Yeah. Again, this country yeah. must be restructured. Let everybody develop according to their base. Yeah. Let everybody benefit of the resources that they have. Yeah. Put something in the center, can be 20%, can be 30, can be 40, but keep what you have to develop your own place. Why are people afraid of that? That is what we grew up on. When I grew up, the, the, the northerners had um, uh, the Northern cotton, North, yeah. they had groundnuts, That's they were true. doing well. We grew up on cocoa, with free education on yeah. cocoa. The easterners had palm kernel and mm -hmm. palm nuts. Mm -hmm. so what is the problem? Those things are still there, even more mm -hmm. today. There's gold, there's bitumen, there's bauxite, there's manganese. Steel. In the north, they are mineral rich. Why can't we develop those minerals and use it to, 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 to run our country? Mm -hmm. If I was president of Nigeria, we would not import food. Why? If you can't eat it, if you can't grow it, don't eat it. Why okay. should we import food? Pastor Itwa Igodalo weighing on those matters in an earlier Plus TV Africa program.